Hi, I'm Jacob from North Rock Bikes. Today we're going to go over how to adjust linear brakes. The first thing to check on linear brakes is that the brake pad is lined up with the rim of the wheel. To do this, gently squeeze the brake lever. If the pad is either above or below the rim, we need to move it. To do this, loosen the mounting nut, move the brake pad, so it is lined up with the curvature of the rim. Squeeze the brake lever, lightly snug the pad, release the brakes, grasp the pad so that it does not move, and snug the bolt. Now we're going to check our cable tension. You will know you need to add tension to your cable if when you squeeze the brake lever, it moves more than halfway into the grip. As you can see, we're moving more than halfway with this brake lever, so we need to add tension to the cable. To do this, slide the boot off of the housing and place the brake noodle on the edge of its housing. Slide the boot off of the housing Place the brake noodle on the edge of its housing. Next, grasp the end of the cable. Loosen the anchor bolt that holds the cable onto the brake arms. Move the brake arms so that the pads are just touching the rim. And tighten your anchor bolt. Now we're going to move the brake noodle so that it is fully engaged in its housing. Reinstall the boot onto the noodle. Now squeeze the brake lever and you can see that it does not move more than halfway towards the grip. Now we are going to align the brake pads so that there is equal space between each pad and the rim. To do this, we want to adjust the tension on the brake arm springs using the set screw. To put more space between the rim and the pad, move the screw clockwise. To put less space between the rim and the pad, move the screw counterclockwise. In our case, we need more space between this pad and the rim, so I'm going to move the screw clockwise, stop, squeeze the lever, check the alignment. If it's not yet properly aligned, turn it clockwise again and squeeze the lever until you achieve equal spacing between each pad and the rim. Adjustment of the front and rear brakes operate in the same way for linear brakes. Before you ride, recheck that the pads are in line with the curvature of the rim, that you have properly seated the noodle into its housing, and that there is equal distance between each pad and the rim. This concludes the steps for adjusting the linear brakes. As always, we recommend that you check the manufacturer's instructions, which are located on the support section of our website. Thanks for watching and have a great ride.